Well, on this day 20 years ago, the United States took strategic steps to prevent a repeat of the terrorist attack on the 11th of September 2001. And one of those steps taken was to search and search out cells of the perpetrators of the terror attack. Well, this led to the United States occupying Afghanistan, which also had a great impact on the nation's foreign policy. The U.S. responded to the 9-11 attacks in several ways. Beyond effecting a more stringent visa and travel policy, it led to the creation of the Department of Homeland Security to oversee its internal security and coordinate a strategy against terrorist threats and attacks. Other countries also changed strategies based on their definition of terrorism. That unfortunate incident it sent a lot of different messages to different countries. We have seen uh, terrorism, you know, mutate from uh, international terrorism or state-sponsored terrorism to homegrown terrorism. I mean, terrorism starts with an idea in someone's head, um, and, it's, and then they act on it. So to, in order to do that, you, yeah, there are times where you need military strikes to prevent an imminent attack. Operation Enduring Freedom, a code name for counterterrorism by the U.S., was deployed against Afghanistan, which was home to the Al Qaeda group. So Afghanistan, um, that war was basically to put U.S. interests and to make sure no further attacks were launched from Afghanistan, which they started uh, up until now. This was because the U.S. requested the Taliban-led government of Afghanistan to give up the Al-Qaeda leaders, which they failed to do. The war against terrorism in Afghanistan started in October 2001, about a month after the attacks. Many people criticized this move by George W. Bush government. Second, 2011. Ten years after Operation Enduring Freedom started, Osama bin Laden was eventually captured and killed by U.S. Navy SEALs in Pakistan, where he had been hiding for nine years. We live in a country that respects free speech. In December 2014, President Obama announced an end to Operation Enduring Freedom. Operation Enduring Freedom was immediately overtaken by Operation Freedom Sentinel in Afghanistan, which focused on ending global terrorism. The operation eventually ended on August 30, 2021, as the U.S. military finally left Afghanistan. Pulled out after 20 years, and you can see even the pulling out is messy. It's messy. Uh, this person, this UNDP employee, had been... Uh, worked in Afghanistan, he's an Afghan national, and was here with UNDP working in my degree. 9-11 to many Nigerians was an event that could never happen in Nigeria, despite the development challenges the country was battling then. Splinter groups of bandits and criminals. Sometimes they are all put in one, one name. They are all terrorists. You, you note that... Um Nigeria continues to slide back. We, we, we're, not, we're not getting progressively better in any of our policies. If you look at the uh, domestic policy. The U.S. may have changed its strategy to end terrorism, but the new strategy would help Nigeria in its fight against non-state actors. I think the message from 9-11, um, while it was a devastating attack on our psyche, the message is really hope and that America is uh, the land of hope. The fight against terrorism is not the fight of the U.S. alone. It is a fight the whole world needs to come together, collaborate and ensure an end to terrorism, banditry, insurgency, so we can all have peace that ensures development. Muya Thomas, TVC News, Abuja.